Like we don't, a lot of people ask me like, what happens if you, know, you have teams that don't, aren't successful and it takes them several months or even a year? Well, we don't just like drop them and say goodbye. We're very proactive in ensuring that either they have Hi everyone, good afternoon. Um, well, thank you guys for joining, uh, especially at lunchtime. So, I'm Senior Director at Berkeley Skydeck. By a quick show of hands, how many people have heard of Skydeck? No, that's <laughs> so, so I'm like, if I can achieve one thing today during this talk, my goal is to really demystify what a US accelerator does and how it can really serve as a conduit for Korean startups and startups around the world to basically enter the U.S. market. So as a founder, when you come to Skydeck, we have six months in our office with us. And we, the staff and the advisors, we make it our business to know what you're working on, how you're tracking, what you need help with, who you need to connect with and plug in with. Any entrepreneurs who are curious to understand how they can work with us, that they can just come in and talk to us at any point in time. And generally, we have about 650 investors that show up. Like, we don't, a lot of people ask me, like, what happens if, you know, you have teams that don't, aren't successful, and it takes them several months or even a year. Well, we don't just, like, drop them and say goodbye. We're very proactive in ensuring that either they have access to our space for free for another six months, and access to our advisors so that we can continually help make the right intros so that they, they can get there. So what exactly do we offer as an accelerator? If, you're, if your company is mature enough to be thinking about global expansion and you're going to an American accelerator with the end goal of success, successfully expanding across North America, how do you plug in and basically have the, a robust network that can actually introduce you to all of the right customers that you need to be talking to? Um, you know, similarly, we did this for an, a med tech company, which um, one of our teams is a medical scribe company, and they needed to be able to, to meet a lot of hospitals and also small, small medical practices across the U.S. Through our advisor network, we were also able to get them countless intros. And they all have their the advisors cover on all the different areas of expertise in various industries. And of course, we have Skynet. I call it Skynet, but Sky Network, um, which is we have so much. Again, as at UC Berkeley, I mentioned we have 500,000 living alumni. We get a lot of inbound inquiries and interest as to how some of these alumni can help. We're very selective. The number one criteria I vet for is passion to mentor and advise founders and really go out of their way to help. And actually how it works. We have three different programs. The cohort program is about the 20 to 25 teams we invest in. You get about 100,000 investment for 5% equity. You may ask, why would anyone do that? Why would you give 5% of your company for just $100,000, right? The Korean government is giving away more than 100,000. The reason companies do that is because they understand the value of coming to an accelerator, being able to access all these resources. I can't emphasize that enough. The network helps you find your best customers, helps you get in touch with all of the right investors. The second program is the Hot Desk program. For the Hot Desk, that's the, our incubator track. They generally are pre-revenue and they have a you know working prototype or MVP. The more partners you have, the easier it becomes to set up your team, your startups, and connect them to the right people so they can actually have certain engagements and pilots. We also have the MET program. You know, basically, Town Pavement meet a lot of founders, and they're having a hard, because they have to get in earlier, right, in order to compete with the likes of SoftBank, right? So, in many ways, the accelerators, in working with companies, like Skedek working with companies for six months, making sure that they hit certain milestones, ensuring that they have a certain level of market traction and have hit a certain monthly recurring revenue, um, and that they have certain data points that by the time they get on stage for demo day. And so, you know, one of the things that I would say is 
if you don't go through an accelerator, it's hard to kind of know and keep your finger on the pulse as to what shifts and trends are happening. I would love, I would love to see more Korean startups come through Skydeck. Um, we generally have about one company per cohort, and I'd like to see tens of companies coming through every cohort. Again, 